All right, today we're going to talk about extending walls to roofs. Now, at the moment, I have a sloping or skillion roof here, and I want to extend all of my walls up so they meet with my eaves. Let's have a look over here. All right, and traditionally, it's been hard to do this because every wall, you know, you had to work at every height. However, I'm going to do it for you in about five seconds. I'm going to go back to all, and I'm going to select all the walls and the roof in one. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go up to walls, Wall operations, project walls to roof. At the moment it's in beta, um, so if you have any errors that you come across, let us know. But essentially you'll notice that all of these walls, including the internal walls that are a different wall type to the external walls, are now projected up to the roof. So if I actually hid this wall here, you'll notice that my internal walls have been projected up to the roof, my cornices are lining up with my ceiling, and everything is working. So I'll go Control Z and I'll just go to my structure mode and you'll notice that all of those walls are being cut on that angle. Now, guys, that in itself is probably an hour's saviour of time. Uh, and you'll also notice that the pitching points should be working out quite well, but by all means let us know if, if you've got any dramas. So my pitching point is working out there and my pitching point is working out at the bottom. Uh, and therefore, it saved me a heap of time. Obviously, once you get this done, you'll probably want to go through and uh, click your wall framing and it will dimension all of those studs and set it out for you. Now, guys, there's one thing I did want to quickly talk about. It isn't working with a typical style roof. And the reason being that it's impossible to figure out uh, or we'd have to split walls that didn't work on a ridge. But if you did want to actually create... Um, uh, just rake half of these walls here. It's quite easy. What you I would suggest that you do is you actually go up. I'm going to turn my capping off. I'm going to do that via my elevation view. All right, where is my... There it is there. Okay. And if I actually wanted to um, project these walls to the roof, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click the roof. I'm going to go to roof. And I'm going to remove roof face. Right. And I'm going to choose... Let's say uh, something I got some internal walls on as well. I'm going to take remove this roof face and go submit. And you'll notice that it actually put some lines in there so I can trace over that. Uh, and therefore, if I actually used my uh, Skillion roof tool, which I'll just grab that out of the menu, but it should have opened up for you. I need to know the pitch of the roof, so I'm going to go here. And I'm going to make it 22 and a half because I'm pretty sure that's what I made it. 22 and a half, which is the pitch of this roof. And I'm going to make my eaves to feet overhang zero. And I'm going to make my rafter height zero. And I'm going to make my batten sheathing zero. All I need to do now is actually just trace around my roof. Where did I go from there? I went from the fascia to here, to here, and to here. Right, and you'll notice that it's now put in a roof for me. So if I actually wanted to project uh, these walls, I'll just hide the stuff that we don't need just so it make it a little bit easier for you to see. Quickly hide that. Right, and I want to project this wall up to that roof. So I select that wall, select the roof, right click, walls, operations, project wall to roof, submit. And you can do that over multiple walls. Let's have a look and see if we can look at that in our structure. Right, you'll notice that it just projected that one wall. So you might have a rake ceiling in one section. That's the best way to do it at the moment, guys. We may be able to make it work for hip roofs in the future, but that's your solution. Uh, if you've got any questions, guys, ask them below. Uh, if you like the video, push like. If you dislike the video, push dislike, but make sure you tell us why. All right, guys, cheers.